space. There's a lot of it. There's no possible way that we can be alone in the universe. A f quite a few years ago, a scientist by the name of Frank Drake came up with an equation, aptly called the Drake's Equation, which is a good estimate of how many possible communicative civilizations there is in our universe. So in order to figure this out, we start with the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy, which we'll call n sub star, and we multiply it by the fraction of those stars which contain planets, which we'll call f sub p. And then the number of those planets, which happen to be Earth-like, which is number of, which is n e or number of Earths, uh, multiply that by the fraction of those planets which have life, f l, times the fraction of those planets which have intelligent life, and then the intelligence, and then the fraction of that intelligence that creates a communicative society. Then we multiply that finally by the lifetime of a planet that is that it's graced by communicative society, and we equal n, or the number of communicative civilizations in the universe. Okay, so we have, to, we have to give numbers to our variables. So we have n sub star, the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. We'll say that, well, that's 400 billion. We figured this out by taking small representative portions of the night sky and counting each individual star in it. Came out to about 400 billion. Then the fraction of those stars which contain planets. We'll say it's a quarter here. The number, may, the number seems to be much higher than that, but we're going to be conservative. The number of those planets which are Earth-like. Well, if we take our own solar system as a good example, we find that we have the Earth, of course. Uh, Saturn's moons, Europa, and Titan both have liquid water, possibility for life. Uh, so the number could be much higher. We'll say two, though, to be conservative. Uh, the, number, the, the fraction of those Earth-like planets in which life evolves. We'll say it's a half. On our, own, on our own planet, we found that life create, was created sh soon after the planet formed uh, because the molecules for life just self-assemble everywhere in the galaxy. They're readily available. Uh, but we're going to be conservative. So now, now intelligence, the number of, life, of planets with life that create intelligence. We'll say it's about a tenth. Ours clearly has intelligence because there's us. But there might be a problem in, ev in evolving a higher form of being because all the random events have to be in a certain sequence, like for us to have developed brains and the ability to walk upright. It might not happen everywhere. Now, the number of those intelligent, civiliza of those intelligent life forms that develop a communicative civilization, which have radio astronomy. Well, it seems that technology follows, sh follows shortly after, after intelligence, but we don't know that for certain because we only have one example. So we'll say about a tenth. Now, this is where the most tricky guess comes in is the, is, the, is the number of years a planet is graced by communicative civilization. Uh, well, if you, take a, if you take a look at us, for example, uh, billions of years of evolution, and only for a few decades, the last few decades, have we had a communicative civilization. And it's hardly to the question that tomorrow we might blow ourselves up. So if we take us as a regular case, we take uh, a few decades divided by a few billion years, and we get one hundred millionth. It's a very small number of civilizations that survive technological adolescence. Now if we multiply all these out, we find n to equal about 10. Just 10 civilizations, a pitiful few. However, if a civilization learns to live past technological adolescence, let's just say about one in every hundred, or one percent of every civilization that has high technology learns to live with themselves, learn to survive. We then find that uh, n is in the millions. And if we find that they're, more, that, that they're distributed more or less randomly throughout the universe, that the nearest one may be 200 light years away. So that's a fairly good chance of uh, finding someone out there.